David Grisha from Slasher Minifilms here again. This is part three of my review of the Mattel Hyperscan. Currently, the game I'm going to show you now is the pen or is the Ben 10 disc. The Ben 10 disc. I really wanted the WWF wrestling disc, but I can't find it. It's hard to find, but um beggars can't be choosers. I'm gonna put the disc in, turn on the system, and get my big stack of Ben 10 cards. Alright. While the system's loading up, just another quick thing to tell you. Earlier, this system is comparable to the Virtual Boy without the 3D aspect. Also, I don't not quite sure it was released in Japan. But um it only had a library of about 10, 15 games maybe. My friend even said you can make homebrew games for it, but I'm not even going to go into that because you'd have to make cards. But you know, eh, what the heck. Another thing that's quite annoying about this game from system. So I'm taking you down to the system so you can listen. You hear the disc spinning? It's annoying. Okay. While the game's loading, I'm going to show you the amount of cards I have for this. Now this game, what was good about this is it was actually licensed by Cartoon Network Interactive. I'm going to take you back to Bunk Bed Vision so you can see the game in its entirety. Whoa. Not cool. Alright. Back to Bunk Bed Vision. Okay. Like I said, Cartoon Network Interactive made this game, so that's partially a good thing. Semi-Logic also made this game, like they did with the last. Okay. Ben 10. Pretty much. Alright. I'm pretty sure I have a story mode saved on this somewhere. I don't really care. I haven't played it in a while. But, uh, what the heck, I like this system, it's alright. Okay, so. I'm going to cl click continue episode. Scan a Ben card. Okay, the only Ben card I know of is this. This is the official Ben Tennyson card. And I will scan him for you. There you go. Now, the way I have this set up, by the way, is I'm on the bottom bunk of my bunk bed, and I have my camera up here under my top bunk bed. But, um, okay. We're gonna play Robot Attack, because apparently it's the only level I have unlocked, so why not? Now let's see what I have. Now, um, one thing I wanted to show you is if you've ever seen the show Ben 10, with Ben's Omnitrix, he can turn into different monsters. Now, one thing really cool about this game is with the cards I have enabled and are and I have in my hands, I am able to trans. I'm able to transform Ben into his normal characters. Plus, I have a Grandpa Max card, which enables me help. Which, because I haven't played this in a while, I will be using a lot. But, um, that is besides the point. So, we're going to get to the gameplay once this thing loads. Yeah. Like I said, about one thing I don't like about this game is the intense loading time. Now, one thing I found extremely helpful in this game system is to is to organize your cards by what they are. I have them organized by characters, help, attack mods, regular mods, and Okay. Looks like they want to prevent you from climbing the cliff. You can try and punch your way through. Or call on Wild Mutt, Heat Blast, or Diamond Head for help. Okay. Now you see this? 
This is an Omnitrix. This is the spot where I scan one of my character cards so I can turn into something else. I am going to choose the Heat Blast card. Okay. Apparently it didn't work. Okay. I really should try a different card. Let me try Rip Jaws. Can this get any dumber? Alright, this is ticking me off. I'm just gonna continue to go. Maybe I'm supposed to collect these things before I can go ahead and use the Omnitrix? Let me try again. Heat Blast. Let me try this card out. Now there's where it gets cool. Time to turn up the heat blast. Yeah. That's pretty pimp. Anyway, but um... Besides the extremely childish gameplay, I like the arcade style controls. Although it's extremely easy to die. And every time you die, you go back as Ben to the end of the level. Whoa. So I'm just gonna forget what Grandpa Max said. And I'm going to turn back into Heat Blast. And it freezes whenever it loads something like this. Time to turn up the Heat Blast. Okay. Let's try this again. I find the attacks to be extremely slow, but you know, this is the time where I can come back to here and use an attack mod. And hopefully this works. Now, as you can see, the controls are very tedious, and you can never jump when you want to jump. But, you know, once again, beggars can't be choosers. But, um, overall, it's a pretty sweet system. Um, Bell's Outlet, if you're lucky, depending on the location you go to, you can find one of these for a cheap price. Um, it's, it's a decent system. I might actually have to go break this thing out again and play it, but, you know... It's an alright system, I suggest getting one just for kicks and giggles. David Grisham from Slasher Minifilms, I gotta go. See y'all later.